My name is Aune Lungameni. Uh, I was born in Bantuk in 93. I am currently a student at uh, the University of Namibia pursuing uh, my BA. Um, I am studying media studies uh, as my first major and fashion studies as my second major. So, um, right now, I'm doing a million things at once. Um, I am trying to find who I am. But if we are talking in terms of medium, I wouldn't say that I use, uh, I'm aligned to one particular medium. Um, I've been exploring with film. Um, I've been, I've shot and directed a short film last year. Um, I've, I was thinking of pushing ahead with it. Um, I did this while um, it was requested for me to do this for my BA. Um, I'm studying broadcasting, so I've been working a lot with the camera and behind the scenes editing and um, that kind of thing. This year I have not really focused much on um, that aspect of my life. So this year I'm more focused on fashion. So um, I am working with a very important theme, um, which is road safety. So the, uh, the collection that I'm working on currently will be uh, on road safety. So I'm doing many things at a time. I can't really subject myself to one particular thing, but that is my main focus for this year. I'm doing a million things because I've, I've always been that way since childhood. I was the girl who played with dolls and wrestled with the guys and I've never been like subjected to one thing all my life. So I feel comfortable when I can jump from one thing to the next. Maybe it's because I get uh, bored easily um, and I do not want to stop doing something because I'm bored with it. I would rather move on to the next thing and come back and see what I can get out of it. I have been comfortable with some of the things, um, but it doesn't mean that I just want to do that. For example, fashion, I really love it, but I just don't want to do fashion. Um, I love art, so, it doesn't mean I'll just do art. I love film, so it doesn't mean I'll just stop at film. So I have to find a way to make it fuse together. My personality, I have to fuse it in with what I've learned through my academic years. Um, I have to fuse it together with what I'm uh, learning outside of the academic world. Um, so, hopefully, I'll come to an age where I know who I am and I will work on who I am or why am I doing a million things and uh, will I stop? Well, I don't think I'll ever stop. Uh, reason being that as I'm in Montgomery, I've never been content with one thing. Um, I've done it, I can't say all, but I've done a lot. I've acted, I've done music, I've done art, I've done uh, fashion. Am I good at all those things? No. Do I want to be good at those things? Yes. And I think I'll give up when I know that I've given it my all, which is probably till I die. Honestly, what makes me happy is spending time with my son. We will be talking senseless stuff that are so senseful at the same time. He's hilarious, so yeah, that makes me happy. <laughs> I have uh, anyone in particular that inspires me. However, I do have a lecturer that makes me feel that I can do anything. I had two. Unfortunately, one lost his life in a car accident. Um, otherwise, Ms. Loini Azanda, 
I don't know if I'm saying her name correctly, we just know her by her first name. She inspires me a lot. She makes me feel like I can do it all, you know. And um, I think from all the people I know, she understands me the most as a human being and as an artist. The bottom line is, I want to be a professional entertainer, as crazy as that sounds. Uh, but all in all, <laughs> with these million things that I'm doing, it's kind of hard being a jack of all trades uh, because you have to align what what comes before the other, which is difficult. It gets difficult to align what comes mm -hmm. what comes before the other. So I think that would be the main challenge. Who am I? What am I? What what do I do? Am I am I a filmer? Am I a director? Am I an editor? Am I a fashion designer? Am I what who am I? Am I an artist? So the challenge comes when I have to answer questions to myself about who I really am. I can't put one before the other, at least not now. So I can do them one at a time, but right now I don't have an answer of who I am and I think that's the biggest challenge I'm still finding myself. So um, this artwork, this art piece is called Beyond Death or Death Beyond. Um, this is because the time I did this I was busy uh, sketching, I was doing uh, sketches of uh, people that have influenced my life, um, people that have died, people like um, Mr. Henry Fatboy, Saki Bapan, Ms. Kakurukade Munguda. So I didn't want to um, just hand in something on paper because that's what we do every day as an artist, you, you draw, that's I think the basics. So I wanted to transform this paper in another way um, that would make it make sense to the concept but without using a pencil and paint. So I decided to uh, do these eyes or make these eyes of people that have inspired me. Uh, my great late great grandmother, uh, late great 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 grandfather. Those are people that have done so much, and I just feel like they uh, look at us, they protect us, they um, they're still there with us. So I made this piece dedicating it to those people that have lost their lives and have made have done uh, have, have made an impact on how we live life today. This was the second piece I've done. This is a cold house of fire. Um, it, you, um, in this, I use uh, paper. I use uh, fire as well. I use tape, sand. Uh, I use quite a bit on this one compared to the other one. Um, so this one is basically showing the power of the triangle the triangle shape and how powerful it is. At this point, when I did this, I was going through a lot emotionally. But I knew that as even though I was as fragile as this paper is, I knew that I, I was strong. So um, this would be my favorite piece because it has more uh, meaning, personal meaning to myself. Um, it, it had to do with what I was going through at the time. So compared to that one. Both are of importance, both are great pieces, but I just love this because of how attached I am to, or what I felt, what I felt when I was doing it. So, yeah. I was excited because I never have attended an artist workshop in my life. I've not even really been doing art for a long time. So, um, to conclude with the experience, the experience has taught me that, I wanna, has told me that I want to go back to art. I want to start doing art again. And I am, I have been doing art since I came back. 
Um, I've been researching more on the medium which I used, which is fire, uh, for the for the workshop. I've been getting it together. And um, anyone that is um, watching this, I would advise them that you don't have to be in a rush. All things will come when they're supposed to come. Be content. Don't run for things. If you're, you're struggling to find who you are, do it all until you find what you excel at all. Sometimes it's not even what you excel at. It's just what makes you happy. So find that particular thing and you never know, one day you might get a call that changes your life, so yeah, just, just keep on doing what you have to do, it will all work out. Thank you for watching. Your views and opinions will grow the progressive artist. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe for more creative content. Additionally, don't forget to press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any creative and artistic videos.